So tell me, where are you scared of the dark? When it all goes down and the lights go out, I'm not the one you wanna see. Some will and some won't, some do and some don't. Now tell me who you're gonna be. See, I couldn't really give a fuck if I am so unbearable. All that I really care about is that I'm uncomparable. They're bigger than me and they're quicker than me, but they know that nobody is sicker than me. Cause they can kill X and they can kill Y. Hello, welcome, Devil Snob here, episode number 22, season number 5 of our career mode with West Ham United. Oh my god, we have a huge game coming up against Paris Saint-Germain, and then a tough away game to Stoke City. So firstly, I just want to say thank you for all your support and comments on the last video. It was uh, quite epic. I, I, it, was, it was amazing to see such a response. It just fills me so full of joy that you guys really do care about this career mode, and you're really happy with me going either down to world class or keeping it on legendary. As you know, the footage that we will be seeing in this episode, the next episode, will be legendary. So um, let's not worry about that. Let's get a good crack on. Let's get the passion a pumping for West Ham against Paris Saint Germain. And I look at that Paris Saint Germain side and I think to myself, yes, it is a decent side. I would love to have Classy in uh, in my side. They've got some bloody good players, but we really, really, really need to dig a. Uh, three points out of this game because we're sitting third in the table as you will see shortly we are third in the in the table Paris Saint-Germain are now above us we need to dig out some points because I believe I think it's Busch and Munch and Gladbach are storming away with the league 10 points they have we have eight a victory today really does give us a great opportunity to uh, to put some pressure on Munch and Gladbach and Paris Saint-Germain and hopefully get into the next stage of the Champions Cup you know Battle against keeping our title. Our title. I'm not going to give up our league title. I'm not going to give up our Champions Cup title without a goddamn fight. And as you can see, the boys are playing some beautiful football already. Apart from when Gudetti gifts the ball to Paris Saint-Germain. But Ola John knocking the ball through to Gudetti. Gudetti with some nice skill. Trying to take on the Paris saint Paris Saint-Germain defence, getting tackled, but the ball comes to Filippo, Filippo knocking it out to the left-hand side to Isco, Isco with some silky skills, digs the ball in, but a great save, or a great, great capture by the Paris Saint-Germain goalkeeper, and Paris Saint-Germain are starting to play classy football of their own, knocking the ball about as if West Ham aren't even on the pitch, and looking to get us on our counter-attack, which they're getting numbers forward, but West Ham are slowly getting back into position, Slowly getting there. The ball's knocked out to the right-hand side. But Kolka spots the danger. Gets a cross. The cross comes in. That's a great header by Stefan. Eduardo nearly gets a touch on it. The ball comes to the edge of the box. Levetzi passes it off. And the shot is thankfully over the bar for West Ham United. That is like a clear warning sign that Paris Saint-Germain are not going to go down without a fight. They want this victory as much as West Ham. Ola John again with some nice silky skills. Proving he has some right talent. Can inside. Puts on his left foot. Goes for goal. And that is a huge save by the Paris Saint-Germain goalkeeper. Absolutely majestic save from a fantastic shot by Ola John. PSG managed to clear the ball. Filippo into Kolka. Kolka trying to get into the box. Trying to make something happen. Pulls the ball back to Ola John. Ola John again with a fantastic shot. And yet again, the Paris Saint-Germain goalkeeper makes a huge save to keep... The French in the game. Half time. Paris Saint Germain nil. West Ham United nil. And West Ham really have got up their game and get in there. Nelson Oliveira battling hard. Feeding the ball into Filippo. Filippo majestically marauding out to the left hand side. Turns back inside. Feeds it into Nelson Oliveira. Oliveira onto John Gudetti. Gudetti tries to play the ball round the corner. Great idea. It's so nice to see inspiration from John Gudetti. But Paris Saint Germain straight on the attack. Ball to the back post. And Butland has just made an absolutely world-class save to keep West Ham in this tie. Still nil-nil. 65 minutes gone. Lovetti trying to get down the left-hand side, but the ball's cut out. And it appears to me that West Ham are going to make some much-needed substitutes. Some players are getting a little bit tired. They've definitely covered a lot of ground tonight against Paris Saint-Germain. Really been kept on their toes. I mean, Paris Saint-Germain have absolutely upped their game. We're bringing on Benzir and we're bringing on Jess Rodriguez, hoping that we can get the pace in behind the, the PSG defence and launch a counter-attack. But Eduardo showing the battling qualities of West Ham. They never die spirit as Ola John continues to battle on the left-hand side to try and keep that ball. But Paris Saint-Germain are away on a counter-attack. Can Kolka get back? Can he get back? But it's Bruno Martins who intercepts the ball, feeds it into... Jess Rodriguez, 
players. This is an absolutely cracking battle. It may lack goals, but it truly is a sensational game of football. As Benzie has the ball on the edge of the box, but he's tackled yet again. And PSG bring the ball away. True end-to-end -end football. Ola John, right-hand side, trying to go past his defender. Trying to make some space for himself. Nice piece of skill yet again. Feeds the ball into Eduardo. Eduardo getting to the byline. Pulls the ball back at a great clearance there by PSG. Benzia has the ball on the edge of the box. Turns it inside. Into Gudetti. But he's robbed. Just robbed. And West Ham are going to kill themselves for not taking these chances. They really have been wasting them. Eduardo feeds the ball into Ola John. Ola John into Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker shoots. It's taking a deflection. 1 0 West Ham. Come on, West Ham. 88th minute. Kyle Walker. The West Ham right back. Bombing forward like an absolute legend. Breaking into the PSG box. Takes the shot. Great save by the keeper. But he parries it only onto his defender. And gives West Ham an almighty 1-0 lead. Can they hold on to it? Or will PSG strike back? The referee's blowing the whistle. The game has finished. Paris San Germain nil. West Ham United won. And an audacious goal from Kyle Walker, of all people, in the 88th minute, settles the affair. We're back at Upton Park, and our boy Callas is back. His one-match suspension has been done and dusted, and he is back in the team. He is back up for selection for the Champions Cup. And the media have clearly picked up that Ola Jean played so well in that game. He really looked like he had come to life. It was fantastic. And look at this. I get a fantastic text message from Ola John. It's fantastic. When your players send you a text message, it really does give you that nice, warm feeling. It's absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. Loving the team at the moment. We've got to make a few changes. We've got to utilise the depth that we have in the squad because we have quite a few games coming up in quick succession. And uh, we have, as you can see, quite clearly, a lot of players who are, who are feeling a little bit tired after that fantastic, epic battle in France. I mean, it did take a lot out of the boys. I mean, they covered so much ground. It was, it was just amazing. So we're going to be taking on Stoke City, away to Stoke City. It's going to be a quite a risky game. Unfortunately, I won't be able to attend the game. I have uh, other matters to attend to. With relation to uh, being the England manager, unfortunately, it's one of those things every now and then it comes up and uh, I have to do uh, do my duty with England. So unfortunately, I will not be at this game, but hopefully we'll get the correct result. Hopefully we'll take the three points and it's going to be a risk because it's away from home. But I've got faith in the boys. As you can see, Colker is booked after six minutes. Not sure that was a fair booking, but hey-ho. Benzir strikes early for us in a 29th minute to give West Ham a 1-0 away lead. We strike again through Adrian to make it 2-0. A couple of substitutions. Sizoko manages to get himself booked. And look at that. Jess Rodriguez picks up the third goal. Jones for Stoke picks up a goal. And it looks like Benzir has unfortunately picked up a slight injury. He was substituted. He was unable to be substituted. I do apologise because we'd used up all our substitutions. And you are absolutely freaking kidding me. He's going to be out for two months. I told it was a slight knock. He'd be out for a week. That is truly Devastating. Ben Zier is absolutely fantastic. He's playing so bloody well. So he's out. And uh, John O'Leary has gone to Shrewsbury. Are you kidding me? What is going on at this moment in time? Laid was looking really, really good. He was progressing so well. He was playing in a lot of reserve team games. And now he's been stolen by Shrewsbury. I can't believe this. This is ridiculous. I'll be having strong words with Clarkie about this. This is not acceptable. He should be notifying me a lot earlier. If players are being tapped up so we can uh, sign them and get them signed to the club and get them committed to the club. That's that's a huge letdown. I'm not happy at all. I'm absolutely disgusted, to be quite frank. I'm not chuffed. I am not a happy chappy at this moment in time. Then again, saying that, Kyle seems to, uh, to have a nice potential. So hopefully he can make me a happy chappy. But I am a bit devastated that we lost Jono there. To Shrewsbury, I'm definitely devastated because uh, we're a Premier League club. You, you, you would hope that he'd like to sign with us. And we didn't even get the opportunity to offer him a contract. But we do look like we've got some decent talent coming through. Michael seems to be progressing quite well. He's played well with some of the uh, under-18 games that he's participated in. He has played in the under-16 games. But to be honest with you, he was just a different class. And we stepped him up to under-18s. And he's only 14 years old. And he's made the step up so magnificently. So Sean Silva is looking absolutely majestic. Has a great potential. Very, very good looking player. Very talented, and hopefully he uh, he will sign or give us the opportunity to at least offer him a contract before someone comes in and steals him from under our noses. But we have a very tough game 
at home against Arsenal and we're using Zaha up front just to try and relieve some tension. I don't think it's a game that we can really play Rocker in or Miguel. Nelson Oliveira had a slight knock in training, so I'm not going to be risking him neither. So it just makes logical sense just to put Zaha in. And the table's not looking too bad. You know, we can't complain too much. Though Spurs and Man City are trying to make a gap at the top, which is a little bit frustrating. And Arsenal coming out the traps really quick. But look at Callas stepping across, seeing the danger and taking the ball like an absolute boss. Filippo plays a nice one too with Jess Rodriguez. Rodriguez getting down the left-hand side, but he's dispossessed. Great play there by Jenkinson. And Wilshire and Arsenal are knocking the ball around at the back with such grace. Mertesacker into Gibbs. Gibbs back to Mertesacker and into Ramsey. And they clear the ball away. But Filippo plays the ball out wide to Olajon. Olajon is in some sensational form. And he nearly scores again. What a great shot by Olajon. And look at the passion from the West Ham players. Getting in there. Winning the ball back. And trying to keep as much position as they physically can. The ball's in the centre of the park with Zaha. Who made that tackle. He knocks it out to the left hand side. The ball's fed into Zizoko. Zizoko trying to make something happen, trying to get a shot off, but Arsenal are so well organised at the back, they're just dominating, but the ball comes to Filippo, oh my days, Filippo from about 45, 50 yards has the audacity to take a shot, but Zaha, right hand side, feeding the ball across to Filippo, Filippo surveying the area, weighing up his odds, gives it to Olajon, Olajon with the shot, Olajon with the goal, 36 minutes gone, West Ham United take a deserved lead against Arsenal. Arsenal for 36 minutes have been on the back foot, defending extremely well, but it comes to an end with a great piece of skill there by Filippo, knocking it into Ola John. Ola John gets the ball out of his feet really early and takes the opportunity, slots it in the bottom corner, but Arsenal are back on attack. Wilshere with a shot, great save by Butland. Callas with the clearance, but it falls to Rias. I can't believe that. That is a nightmare clearance there from Thomas Callas. How did he fail not to clear that ball? We're going at half-time. West Ham United won. Arsenal won. And it, it, it clearly feels like the, the wind has been knocked out of the West Ham sails. They've got to pick themselves up. They've got to pick themselves up and go again. And believe they can go again. Filippo, the talisman, centre of the park. Gives the ball to Jess Rodriguez on the left-hand side. He utilises his magnificent pace to get past Jenkinson. He now does a nice piece of skill. Past Jenkinson. Goes for the shot. But Jenkinson gets his foot in there to save the day for Arsenal. As I feel that could have been a goal. But Wilshire, who's been a pain in the arse all game for West Ham United. Feeds the ball out to Walcott. Walcott with a nice little back heel into Wilshire. Wilshire rides the tackle. Plays the ball into Santi. Santi goes for the shot and it's just over the bar. And again, it looks like we're going to make some substitutes. Ola John has been complaining for the last few minutes that he's got a slight knock on his ankle, which is a little bit worrying for the West Ham manager because we don't want him to be out. That'll be a nightmare. So Ola John and Zaha are coming off. Zaha is putting a magnificent shift. And we're bringing on Rocker and we're bringing on Ravel Morrison, who is very eager to, uh, to get as many opportunities as he can for uh, West Ham United. But Ramsey, riding the tackle of Jess Rodriguez, cuts inside on Callas and goes for the shot. And he's put it in the bottom corner. 87 minutes gone. Disaster for West Ham United. They'd weathered the slight storm for the last 10 minutes of Arsenal and started to counter-attack, but Ramsey just destroyed the defence, cutting inside and just burying it in the bottom corner. It looks like West Ham are going to slump to yet another defeat, something that the West Ham manager is not really happy with and something that could hinder their season. But Rocker trying to show some life, trying to get the boys going. In the centre of the park, knocks the ball into Gadetti. Gadetti gets the turn, and that is a huge save. Kyle Walker tries to get the cross in. The referee's warded a penalty. It looked clear to me that Podolski cleaned him out, completely took him without the ball, and it's Gudetti who has the balls to step up. Can he slot this away? Can he dig a point out from a defeat? Come on, Gudetti. Come on, my son. Get in there. 2-2. Two, two. 90th minute equaliser from John Gudetti. And you can clearly see how much it means, not just to Gudetti, but to the West Ham players. Absolutely rejuvenated by this game. A great result against Paris Saint-Germain. A great result against Stoke City. And they've just dug a point out from complete and utter defeat from Arsenal with a 90th minute penalty. Some will say it's harsh that Arsenal have conceded. But many others will definitely clearly say that West Ham should have won this game early doors. And have failed to take their chances. But Arsenal are straight on to the attack. Closing down is Morrison. But Morrison 
Doesn't pick out the ball. Walker is having to do some stunts and work against Santi Cazola. Ramsey's in again, but what great play by West Ham in the back. Buckland has the ball. Clears it early doors, trying to get a counter-attack. And the referee is blowing the full-time whistle. The game finishes. West Ham United 2. Arsenal 2. Not the result we were looking for, but a result we will take nonetheless. A point is better than none. And now we have to do some serious business because, again, I'm away on some uh, just so, just on some general club business. I'm down at the uh, the West Ham complex looking at some of the uh, some of the bits and pieces that are going on. I know it's Christmas Eve, and we have an away game, but it's one of those things. You know, I have a commitment to the to the well to the governors, you know, McVitie's, and I will do as I'm basically told. So hopefully the boys will dig out a result. It's not looking good at the moment. 65 minutes gone. It's still Norwich nil, West Ham United nil. Come on, boys, dig it out. Let's get a result. Let's get the three points. We can do this. Yes, on a job. On a job in the 88th minute. Gives us the three points. Norwich nil. West Ham United won. And that is a fantastic result. Oh, I'm so chuffed with that. That is absolutely brilliant. Callus picks up a yellow card. It's one of those bits and pieces we're going to have to get used to. And after my meeting down at the West Ham complex, the directors have come to us and said, no, we, 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 we will be more than happy to assist you in the transfer window. So hopefully that means they're going to give us some bloody cash because we need it. We only have about 2 million quid. We could do with some serious uh, Wonga. And look at this. FC Bayern target Gudetti and Hernandez. Well, a clear stout warning. Munich, leave Gudetti the fuck alone. 